Hey everybody, Las Vegas Collectibles. My name is Jonathan and it's great to be back today. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing with this. I got a new setup, so I'm trying to use the DSLR. Uh, everything's gonna be fuzzy because I have no idea how to change the settings. I got a fancy camera, don't know what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> I got my first CGC submission bag and I thought today was gonna be a huge mail day. I thought I was gonna get all these amazing Spider-Man ones. Uh, <laughs> doesn't even come out for another month by the way so this is march 8th amazing spider-man comes out i believe april 6th or something like that uh yeah it was weird because they they being um diamond distribution they required us to finalize our orders friday this last friday and so usually that happens like one or two weeks before the book is released so i was just like oh amazing spider-man must be coming out soon nope I think it's just going to be such a huge book. There's going to be such a, an, an amazing amount of demand for it. I mean, we're restarting the series, right? Um, from my understanding, it's not in the legacy continual timeline. It's fresh. Day one. Amazing Spider-Man number one. The beginning of the, the whole new series. It's like when um, X-Men started over their new series, right? And it's just, it's just a very intense, um, I think, year for comic books. We got Punisher number one, Ghost Rider number one. We got Immortal X-Men. We got all these things coming out, and I think it's super exciting. So anyways, instead of that, I got a bunch of these. It's my first time ever getting a CGC book back, so I'm assuming it's my first submissions. Um, I did not look at anything as far as anything CGC emailed me or anything like that, so I have no idea what's in here. I'm assuming it's that first submission, which, just so you know, I didn't do pressing, right? I didn't pay for pressing on any of these. Um, these were books that, from my own assessment, were in high grade. However, since that time period, so now we're six months into me operating as a business, I have years of looking at books and analyzing books. However, analyzing for personal collection versus analyzing for a return on your investment for a business, you seem to have a different perspective on things. That's that's for sure. You're a little bit more strict about certain things. And you're going to hear dogs in the background because we watch and train dogs. So that's part of that. Lucy, baby, it's okay. It's okay. Calm down. She's scared about something. I don't know. But anyways, so just giving you that heads up. Uh, since my first submission, I believe I started during my second submission, I started pressing basically every new book. Every book that is within... Are you okay? Calm down, baby. It's okay. So as I was saying, I was... Uh, ever since the... I believe it's the third submission for sure. It could be the second submission. I started pressing every book that is a new book uh, because the print quality to me is just much lower than it was uh, let's say in the 90s early 2000s and especially before that the quality of the paper and everything else has changed dramatically so i'm not really going to take that risk of not pressing modern books moving forward so i do pay for that uh so this submission though there should be nothing now i think it's interesting that i have a huge box a uh, small box. I don't. I don't know. I don't know why that is. Um, I don't think I got any special labels or anything. It might be that I just submitted so many they didn't fit in the big one, so they had to do the second one. But we're gonna start with the small box. And as I said, I've never done this before, so I'm going to do my best uh, to not spoil it. Right? Try not to see it. Try to let you see it first. I have up here my favorite book that's in my collection, Dark Towers by Stephen King. I got Jay Lee and Dave Finch to sign and sketch on it. This looks like it's one of these kind of boxes. All right. I don't know if I'm opening this box right. I could be completely destroying this. But I don't see or feel any plastic, so I'm not cutting into the cover at least. So that's a good sign. Okay, there was definitely some kind of gap right there. Oh, 
Oh, man, all you professional comic book um, dealers and everything that do this for a living are probably going to, like, if you ever watch this, will be like, what the hell was this guy even doing? It's just, he's going to damage his books. <laughs> okay, okay. This tape, this tape is no joke. All right. Okay, I feel a bunch of bubble wrap. I'll be able to tell what side's top and what side's bottom by the label plastic because there's this this gap in the plastic so you can feel that texture. So I know that, right? Like I know I'm not going to... Um, oh, there's a piece of cardboard on top. Oh, that's nice. All right, cool. So I can... I actually just sold a treasury edition book, which is an odd size, so I can actually use that box. So that's exciting. All right, so... So I can't see what's on top. By the way, in this, if it is the first submission, there are some Donald Trump books. Okay, so the top is over here. And I can feel that this side is the front of the comic book. So let's get rid of that. All right, first one. First CGC submission, first CGC book ever. What is it? Okay, I'm gonna. Now, if I'm holding this right, we should be good to go. All right. Look at that. Oh, and I got a custom label, so that's why this book might have come in a separate box. So this is. Um, is this the first print? It is the variant edition. So this is uh, Thor, number four. Let's see here. Nine six. All right. All right. That is very nice. This, I believe, isn't this the first appearance of somebody? God, for the life of me, my brain is just messed up right now. Oh, goodness gracious, what was his name? But anyways, Virgin. So I like Virgin covers. I like appreciating the art. You can take it out of plastic here. Now, the reflection in here is nuts, so that's unfortunate. However, there you go. That is the Virgin. You still have it with a little bit of glare, so you're not going to get the appreciation of the actual you know, cover, unfortunately. However, there you go. Very nice. A 9.6. Um, I will do my best to try to edit these things afterwards and put in the dollar amounts associated with these things. So I don't know how much that's worth. All right, this looks like another one. Oh, oh, there's the invoice because we have the actual Thor um, logo again. That's fun. Okay, and on your first submission, by the way, I submitted some books that I don't think are necessarily nine eights. Um, I submitted some books that I just think that are, for some reason, valuable, but. For CGC, when you sign up for the membership, the, the highest level, they give you $150 credit. So basically, some of these books, in my mind, you know, they're discounted. They're not at that full rate. So I'm interesting also interested also in seeing what percentage of 9.8s I get out of this box compared to future boxes were actually paid for pressing. I think that's going to be interesting. So let's see here. It's the same cover. Another 9.6. Very awesome. And I love the fact that I, I got that custom label. A lot of these custom labels are actually going out of print. They're not going to make them anymore. Uh, it just means they're going to make other variations. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure they're going to do a, a cool alternative Thor. Anyways, let's see. Does it say how much I paid for it? Okay, here you go. So I paid... $19.80 for each one of these books. For that's just the grading fee. But then there's shipping and handling, which is $34. And then the custom label, which is $15. So in total, I paid to get these books in cap encapsulated with the grade, right? All the little things associated with having a CGC graded book. I paid $44.30 for each one of these books to be encased in, in, in CGC style. Now, I got these books. These were part of my personal collection. So I didn't have 
distributor price is. I didn't I wasn't able to buy these wholesale, so I more than likely paid easily around 20 bucks for each one of these books. So if you think about that, each one of these books, at least, right? I might have I might have paid 25 for this. I don't know. I might have paid 10 for this. I, I don't remember when I bought this. Because again, these are personal collection books. So because when I started my business, I didn't I had to work up to build up a relationship with Diamond Comics distribution to even have access to discounted prices, et cetera. So this book, at least 20 bucks in, and then $44 in grading. So I gotta get at least 65 out of this, right? If you think about it like that. Which means on eBay, you gotta sell it for at least 80 bucks. Is it worth that much? I don't know. I'll, after after I edit this, I'll, uh, I'll put some prices in there. Let's see, where am I gonna stack these? I'm gonna stack these over here. I have a feeling I'm going to make a mess of things, maybe even spill my tea. I don't know. But let's keep going. Let's get into this, huh? Right. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. I'm not a person who really gets too emotional about anything, but right now, this is exciting. Heart rate hasn't gone up or anything like that. But I I have a very strong sense of joy right now, that's for sure. Especially knowing that these were my personal collection books and I didn't press them. So even if they don't work out to be like the best grade, I'm like, that's okay. All right. Okay, so this thing is packed. That thing is packed. Thank goodness I got a discount on my first submission. Okay, let's try to figure out. Okay, so the front is facing that way, so I can hold it like that. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Lady Death and Purgatory, right? Yeah, and Purgatory, I believe. Or is it Satana? I can't remember. That's a beautiful cover. Can't really appreciate it because of the plastic and the glare in here. See what we got. Nine eights. Nine eights. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah, there's no way you can appreciate the colors and the details, unfortunately, on my crappy setting camera. Uh, case is in great condition. There seems to be some kind of interior um, moisture. So that's weird. It's not moisture. It's some kind of like, like when they put the inner... Because, you know, each of these comic books, if you don't know, inside of this is in a vacuum sealed bag, basically. And it looks like on that vacuum sealed bag, it like made too much contact with the plastic when they were sealing it or something. So this is the Sultry Edition. Maybe you could see the colors a little better at, at an angle. There you go. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. So again... Uh, if you, this one doesn't have the label, right? So if you think about it, um, I'm sure one of these will have the invoice. So we'll be able to look at how the pricing breaks down, but basically it's $19.80 per book to grade at this point, right? Now they've raised their fees, of course. However, $19.80 per grade. So just think about that. So 20 bucks uh, plus whatever I paid for the pr uh, product because Again, this was my personal collection. A lot of these books I got actually pretty cheap at a local store of mine a year or two ago. I can't remember how long. Uh, so I would be surprised if I paid more than five to ten dollars for this book. So I'm into it for at least twenty-five. Let's just say it averages out to like a dollar each for shipping and handling. So twenty-six. I had to take a break for a, a phone call. Let's get back into this. All right. So. Oh, we got the Pray for the Sinner. So I should have three of these. I believe I believe I have three of these that are in here. So these are the, uh, they're not the Virgin variants, but these are the Art Germ uh, variants. So, and now he's signing, of course, at CGC. Ugh, missed out. Could have got a good signature on here. Anyways, let's see what we got. Nine, eight. If you don't know anything about this story, I, I strongly recommend you look it up. It's, it's something that's highly sought after on eBay. There's not very many of these. Um, so this is the primer. So this isn't number one. This isn't anything like this. this is called the primer. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of these. There's only 200 of these ever made. 
Uh, so I think I have three of them in here. And I, I kept the, obviously the ones in the best condition to send. And I sold the other ones for like $50 each or something like that. All right, another one. Let's see what we got. Another 9.8. Oh, my goodness. And you remember, these are all just eyeballed by me um, when I submitted them. I, I kept the ones that looked like they were in the best condition for all my products, all my personal collection books. And I decided to submit them, but I didn't uh, press them. I started doing that afterwards, though. All right, we got, what is this, a Norse mythology. Very nice. 9.8. Norse mythology number two. So this isn't uh, Norse mythology in the original series. This is the second series. But this is the uh, David Mack variant cover. David Mack is extremely popular artist and he continues to get better. So that's exciting. Remember, no first appearances of anything, nothing like that, nothing uh, crazy yet. But we, we got a lot of 9.8s so far. We got a couple of 9.6s in the beginning. Of course, on the custom label ones, right? What is this? So this is North Mis Norse mythology number one. This is from the first series. The other one's from the second series. Let's see, 9.8. Two David Mack 9.8s, Norse Mythology. They're on Norse Mythology number three now. Uh, yeah. I think they're on number three. Are they on number four? I think they're on the third series. I don't think they made it to the fourth series yet. The, the hard covers looked pretty good for them, like their version of Omnibuses, basically. Uh, I didn't buy any, but they did look good. Oh, my goodness, this one. So I, it, so I was a big Kickstarter person for a while. Uh, one of them that I... It, uh, invested into i'm going to call it an investment into is brian polito's coffin comics lady death a uh, couple of their series and they actually come with little cards like so there is a like a baseball size trading card of the same exact cover of this so hopefully cgc at some point will start grading uh these kind of cards right comic cards marvel stuff like that and if they ever do it'd be cool because then i would have the card that matches this cover. I don't know if you can tell, but it's foil. But also, is this one jeweled? No, this one's not jeweled. So this is just foiled, but absolutely beautiful. Let's see what we got here. Oh, <laughs> oh that's awesome. So this is by Jamie Tyndale, I believe, right? Yep, Jamie Tyndale. One of the most sought after covers of, of this series. This is Blasphemy Anthem. Okay, just so you know. Jamie Tyndale, that's that's freaking awesome that's freaking awesome all right so you know what make me feel a little overconfident with my uh, ability to assess the quality of comic books oh we got another one so this is the third one boom nine eight oh i love it got some nine eight art germs i'm telling you i can't believe he's uh signing at cgc now and i just sent in a couple books and the announcement was this morning or yesterday that he's signing I just sent in some books and I sent him an email. I'm like, hey, I think it was yesterday they, they sent out that uh, email that he's signing and I, I responded and I was like, hey, I have some books that I literally just sent yesterday, right? I sent some books on Monday, I think. And I was like, hey, can you like look up that order number and just go get them in the factory and go ask him to sign those, I'll pay the fees. And then, and they're like, no, you have to submit them. And on the invoice, it has to arrive to them on the invoice that you're, that you are asking for his signature. That wasn't obviously an option when I made the invoice. So kind of disappointed with that. Uh, actually, I'm very disappointed in that. I wish I could do that. All right, let's see here. Oh yeah, I forgot I even had this one in here. So this is uh, one of my favorite actual pieces of art. Uh, well, this is a replica, a representative of it. I don't know what you want to call it. But this is uh, the, the Archangel Michael slaying a demon. Right? He's the demon sale, uh, slayer. So when I saw this, and this is by Capullo, amazing artist, love great Capullo. And when I saw this book, I was like, oh, I want this. And in the in this story, he actually does kill Joker, right? So Batman actually kills him. Um, interesting, interesting story. And I don't know how that works in the actual timeline. 9-8. 9-8. This is the new stand edition, too, by the way. Ooh, Ooh what was that sound? What was that sound? Is this thing cracked? I'm going to have to take a closer look at all these afterwards to see if there's any of these cases damaged. From what I understand, you can send them back if they're damaged to get reholders. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on how all that works, though. Oh, we got Nor another Norse mythology. I don't know if I did the full, like, first print, first series run or not, but... 9-8, look at that. 
This is North Mythology Series 2, number 2. Beautiful with Thor right there. I mean, uh, who is that? No, that's Odin. I don't know who. I, I guess that's his wife in the background. Not 100% sure. But another beautiful David Mack cover. You can never go wrong with some of these artists. Okay. Let's see. Ba, ba, ba. I think we've had nothing but 9 eights out of this box. Oh. Okay, now these... There's a few of these Patrick Gleasons, if they're in here, I don't know if they'll be very high grade. And the reason I say that is because um, I feel like they had more damage than any of the other ones, first of all, duh. And I wasn't able to get my hands on a lot of these. I had like four or five of them at one time, but yeah, so I sent in the best ones, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is 9.6 or below. 9.8, 9.8. First printing of the Patrick Gleason cover. You know, he got... I think he's, his fame really started after, I mean, he was already famous, Patrick Gleason, don't get me wrong, he was a great artist, but when he did the webhead for Spider-Man, that's when stuff started changing for him. Oh, we got an old school Grim Fairy Tales, nice, and this is a bondage cover, you can tell, she's all wrapped up right there in ropes, um, so these are usually highly sought after in, in this Xenoscope world, 9-8, awesome, who's the artist? Stephen Cummings, very nice. This is the second series. This isn't the initial first series that they did for Grim Fairy Tales. All right. Oh, there's there's a couple of cardboard dividers in here. I wonder if that means anything. I don't wonder if that's significant. All right, what do we got here? We got another Grim Fairy Tales. Now this, this looks like it might be first series. Can't tell right now because of the glare. Beautiful Snow White. But, you know, it's uh, Cela Matthews. Is that right? Is that her name? Cela Matthews? Some of that? A 9 0. Okay. Low grade. Low grade. Oh, it's a J. Scott Campbell cover, of course. That's why I graded it. So, you know, if it's less than a 9 8, in my opinion, if it's less than a 9 6, especially, it's not really worth grading. Unless it's a very significant like historical cover or something like that. This is J. Scott Campbell. So that carries a premium in this in this sector of comic books. So we'll see what ends up happening with that, you know. Hopefully that turns out good. I, I don't know why I submitted it. I wonder if I saw that anything that's a 9-0 or above at the time was worth it or not. Oh, okay, a Patrick Gleason. This is the Venom, so he did Spider-Man first with Webhead style. This was the second version that he did. Oh my goodness, thank goodness. Now these I spent a pretty pen on as, as a raw comic book. Because remember, this was my personal collection. I didn't have access to those distributor discounts. So when I purchased this, this was I purchased this for over $100. Over $100 for the raw book. And now I've put another $20, $22 into it. Let's say I'm into this book for, let's just round up to 130 bucks. You know, without that 9.8, I don't know if I can get that back. So that's exciting. That's exciting. Let's see here. Oh, we got another one. Got another one. Again, these, the, the web heads were some of the lowest quality books that I had. I don't remember what was wrong with that Snow White, J. J. Scott Campbell one, but. Oh, sorry. Let's see. Oh, right, a 9.8. All right, that sounds nice. That sounds nice. And these are all the first printings. They did multiple print runs of this because it was so popular. Um, so only the first printings. Oh, we got another carnage. Got another carnage. All right, that's freaking outstanding. A lot of these Patrick Gleason's first printing web heads. Oh, awesome. Okay. It's getting, it's getting to the point where I can't because they keep uh, tilting over. Let's see here. There you go. Ooh, another Venom. Another Venom. Yes. Nine, eight. Freaking outstanding. Freaking outstanding. Let's see, let's see. Bum, bum, da, 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 da. Boom. Ooh, another one. Dang, what is this, number four? How many do I have? Oh my goodness. I remember I had these raw. I put them in my my lights. You know, if you, if you know anything about me, everything's my lights, everything's archival. So I had them all stored beautifully. And I took them to a card show in Las Vegas. 
last year, um, and Mealy Pops was there. So Mealy Pops is the only store that I knew did comics and uh, trading cards and like uh, Pokemon and everything. He did everything. And so I took him and I, I saw him there. Only dealer at a trading card show that would be interested in comic books. And I offered him all of these. All of these. For like a total plus. I have two Donald Trump ones, which are extremely scarce. Uh, all of them for like 500 bucks. And I was like, dude, they're in high grade. At the time, I was just like, look, I, I need some cash. I want to finance some stuff. I don't want to grade them, you know, but, you know, I, I know they're in amazing condition. I started off at like $1,000. I was like, look, I, I'm willing to take 500 bucks. <laughs> Man, I would have missed out on so much money. Oh, and it's another 9-8. I told them they were in good condition. I told them they were in good condition. That's crazy. So that's like five Venoms, two Carnages. Freaking nuts. Freaking nuts. Having a great box here. We've had 190, uh, 296s in the beginning. What do we got here? Ooh, ooh. Okay, this is the big boy. Venoms, very nice. I'm sure I could get $150 out of these things easy, if not more. Um, but I'll, I'll put up the prices after I edit. But this one, this is where it all began, all the web heads. <sighs> oh. oh, that's nice. The reason it's so significant, there's... They actually published, I forget what it was though. I, I don't know off the top of my head. They actually published how many of these there were. It's not like there's a, th there might, there might be, a th I don't think it was a thousand, but there's only so many that were ever made of the first printing of the Virgin variant, right? So no, no letters, no, all of these covers basically, you know, Virgin variant. Um, and out of those Virgin variants, out of those that were already limited, he signed some of them in the raw condition. So there's even less where it's just in mint condition, blank, because he signed them. He signed the Virgin variant, you know, so there's even fewer that are actually just clean 100% Virgin variant than what's published because he signed them. I thought that was very interesting. I'm like, okay, that's going to make this very scarce. Oh, 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 we got another one. We got another one. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, that feels good. This feels good. This feels really good. Getting some Patrick Gleason. Beautiful. It's Spider-Man, right? This isn't like the Tarantula, right? Like one of the other guys. One of the lower named. This is top shelf. Top shelf characters. Top shelf characters. We got another one. Oh, again, no pressing. Okay. No pressing. These are all $19.80. This is all just my eye. So I'm, it's unfortunately, it's confirming my own personal belief that I'm good at, at grading, right? I'm good at seeing what a potential 9-8 could be. J, J. Scott Campbell's Snow White cover, obviously, I was just way off. Ooh, ooh, nice. I'm not looking at the grade, not looking, have no idea what it is. I did see that the back of the book said that this is a Thanos... Um, cover. So I don't know if it's another one of those ones I, I submitted before. I'm trying to get these um, invoices out. There's something else in here. What is this? Oh, it's all the uh, certificate, the, all the COAs for all the Patrick Gleasons. You see that? And does it say what they're numbered out of? So the Carnages, there was 2,500. Uh, the Venoms, there were only 1,500. And... Spider-Man's, there was 2,500. That's crazy. So it was more than 1,000, it was 2,500. And yeah, everything, you can verify it right there if you zoomed in. All my books that I paid for, $19.80, there was no pressing fees or anything like that. So these are all just eyeballing. I'm, I'm kind of stoked about that. That gives, me, that gives me a little bit too much confidence. Oh yeah, oh that's pretty. So this is uh, Gabriel Dallato. That's pretty. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm looking. I'm looking at the computer screen right here, of course, because I'm an idiot. But uh, oh man. Oh yeah, that feels good. That feels good. This is a gorgeous book. Gorgeous book. That cover is just amazing. What else do we have? Do we have any more? Is that it? That's it. All right. So that was my first CGC submission ever. 
don't have those Donald Trumps in here. So uh, don't know what that means. You know what? I think I put pressing on those because I wanted to make sure those were going to be graded as high as possible. That's why they're separate. So that makes sense, right? Because they're delayed because it takes longer. Uh, so hopefully we get those in the mail soon. And that's right. I invested everything. I, I did pressing. Yeah, that's right. So anyways, this is this is freaking outstanding. We had one 9.0 out of this whole thing and two 9.6s in the beginning that had the custom uh, Thor labels on them. Every single other book, 9.8. That's freaking nuts. I'll, uh, I'll edit this and I'll try to put the prices of all the books in the screen like I see other YouTubers do. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing, but that's it. So first CGC submission ever. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I did. That was absolutely exciting. Take care, everybody.